Hello and welcome back to another video. And in this video is Starcon 2018, episode 18. So after the the long wait, the episode is finally here. So enjoy. It was early in the morning, and Starcon woke up from her expensive, fancy-looking bed. She got up and went to the right side of the room to get to the door. Starcon tiptoed in the hall so Queen Galloway could not hear in order to go outside and work more on the Sky Island. But then, Queen Galloway heard footsteps from downstairs and said, Star Comet, is that you? Um, no, Star Comet awkwardly said. What are you doing in such a quiet morning? Queen Galloway asked. I was, oh, and you can sleep longer than you usually do. Queen Galloway interrupted Star Comet. Star Comet then went back into her back to her room. Queen Galloway didn't bother to ask Star Comet again about why she was up so early because Queen Galloway was going to be busy for the whole day. When Star Comet was back in her room, she looked at the window next to the left of her bed. Outside of the window was an outside area where all of it was yellow, grayish bricks, with many kinds of flowers placed in the walls and some on the floor. Star Comet was looking closely at it, and a green leaf came and fell to the ground. After it fell, Star Comet thought about why Queen Galloway told her she could sleep more. Star Comet knew it could be a special day, but forgot it was her birthday and other special events were going to happen on February 19th. And February 19th is Star Comet's birthday, by the way. With Queen Galloway, she got up from her bed and left her room to go downstairs and then up the stairs to the ballroom. Where most of the workers and servants were. Everybody, do you know what special day it is? Queen Galloway asked. Yes, yes, the servant said. It is Star Comet's birthday, Luna Knight said. Correct, now we will make sure that this is the best birthday for Star Comet ever. She will be crowned to dance in the ballroom, have a fancy dinner, eat an enormous cake, and maybe relax in the pool. So, Sarah Sp Silver Spot. She sent all the invitations to the Sky Island residents. Star Comet. I mean, is it supposed to put Queen Galloway? Explained. Yes, Your Majesty. Silver, Silver Spot replied. Good. Now you should all get to work on working on Star Comet's 18th birthday, Queen Galloway announced. All the servants and workers left the ballroom to go downstairs on different floors to work on Star Comet's birthday party. Some some chefs were making the very large cake in the kitchen, and others were putting decorations in the ballroom. But with Queen Galloway, she was at her at their huge room getting the crown that Star Comet will be crowned by. With Star Comet, she found her necklace in a, bo a box, then she decided to wear it. While Queen Galloway was in a room where people get crowned, she called some servants to ask if the visitors and residents were coming to the castle soon, and one of them said yes. They should all be here in about half an hour, Miss Di said. All right, Star Comet shall be very pleased when she hears this, Queen Galloway replied. She left the crown in the crowning room and went to Star Comet's room to tell about what's happening. Star Comet, I have some news to tell you. That news is that it is your birthday and you are going to get crowned, Queen Galloway reminded. Wait, really? This will be so exciting. I knew it was going to be a special day, but I forgot it was my birthday. Ugh. Star Comet said. So now, for the whole day, you must act polite to everyone and not be stubborn, Queen Yowie said. Okay then, sister, Star Comet agreed. Both of them left the room and waited a little bit for the visitors to arrive. In 25 minutes at noon, everyone arrived, and Star Comet was ready to go to the crowning room. Together, they both walked to the crowning room, which was in the far right of the floor they were standing on. When they got to the room, Queen Galloway opened the two side door, and when it opened, everyone was sitting down, looking at Star Comet. The two walked down the red carpet to the upper step floor. So when they got there, everyone looked forward, and Queen Galloway looked back to announce, Ladies and gentlemen, we are all glad to hear the day for my younger sister, Star Comet, to become princess for her 80th birthday. Queen Galloway grabbed the crown and placed it on Star Comet's head. Then she stepped back a little, and I'm also, I forgot to mention before this, that Star Comet's wearing makeup. I don't know if you noticed or not, but yeah.
And now, officially, Star Comet is now Princess Star Comet, Queen Galway announced. Star Comet walked down the two steps below, trying to look proud while everyone was clapping for her. In her head, Star Comet was thinking about how being a princess will affect her and how people expect her to be now. After that, trumpets were still playing and people were still clapping until right. Until right. Until she was out of the climbing room going right. Queen Galway walked out of the crown room and said, Next you will go to the dinner room downstairs and have a special dinner, Queen Galway reminded. Princess Starcon walked downstairs into the throne room and led someone to open the door to the dinner room where there was food and drinks on the table, like bread, wine, lobster, chicken, salmon, shrimp, and fresh figs. There were also wolves related to Starcon singing the cheers to eat as well as the chandelier on top of the roof. Queen Galway sat in the chair in the middle, and Star Princess Starkon sat next to Queen Galway to the right. So, Princess Starkomet, how does this feel that you are a princess now? Asked for Cloud, uh, cousin of Princess Starkomet. Good, uh, I guess. Starkon said, well, good, I guess. Starkon said, while well, chewing. You should not speak while you chew. You should also keep your mouth closed. It's rude. Queen Galway advised. Okay, I apologize, Princess Starkon said. Everyone continued to eat and talk, but then Night Haller, the uncle of Princess Starkon, asked, What will your future plans be? Princess Starkon replied with, I don't know yet, but one of them is the fish man on the Sky Island. Some of them replied with a, Whoa! So can you show me where that island is? Queen Galway asked. Oh, sure, but after the party's over, Princess Starkon said. Three minutes, everyone ate and talked. After that, it was time to go to the ballroom. Everyone in the dinner room walked to the high floor where the ballroom was, and when they got there, all the visitors were dancing. So then, everyone was dancing to the classical music. Princess Starkon was not good at dancing, but tried her best, and got some help in techniques. techniques. Looking at the other people made Princess Starkon think, these people look like professionals. So then she tried to dance near them to get a reference, and it did work a little. But then the lion moot, a little species with long ears, got angry because she thought that Princess Starcon was trying to copy him. So then Princess Starcon backed away and tried to do a dance she learned a while ago called the water sploosh. She waved her front legs up and down slowly, like kind of like swaying or like moving, kind of like waves. At this time. Princess Starcomet didn't really care that this dance didn't really fit to the music. Then the music changed to another classical song. A rabbit walked to Princess Starcomet and said, Hey, nice dance moves, new princess. Oh, thanks, Princess Starcomet replied while he walked away. She then tried to do a different dance as she saw some people dancing together. Princess Starcomet was trying to mimic the people dancing together without a dance partner. But suddenly, a prince-looking King Charles dog came up to her and said, Hey, do you want to dance? Sure, she said. Then they started to get up on their two hind legs and did a dance that was common in the ballroom. Almost everyone was watching them, both of them dance on their hind legs. Am I doing, am I doing it fine? And the star said, asked. Yes, keep doing it. Prince Dog said. When the two of them got down the floors, everyone clapped for them. Thank you for agreeing me to dance with me, the Prince Dog said. Yeah, bye, Princess Starcon said while waving while he walked away. Dancing in the ballroom is now over. It's now time for cake. For the cake, Queen Galway announced. Everyone exited out of the ballroom, down the two floors, and got to the entrance door. Princess Starcomer went first to go outside and saw the huge chocolate strawberry cake and saw visitors already inside looking happy. And there's one little um, dog late, ready for the spe- late for the special day. Happy sweet 18th birthday, Princess Starcomet! Everyone shouted. Princess Starcomet smiled a little from the big birthday cake and everyone wishing her a happy birthday. Blow all the candles and make a wish, someone in the crowd said. Princess Starcon flew to the lowest candle and to the last candle on top of the cake, but made a wish at first on the first last candle. Princess Starcon's wish was, I wish I'll have a happy future. 
She then blew out the candle and everyone cheered. Now it is time to eat the cake, Queen Gallery announced. Everyone walked to the north direction to the table where there were several plates, knives, and forks. There was also a snack after the cake called moon cheese, which is a yellow, salty, glue gooey food which rumors have come from the moon. Then everyone got to the cake and cut small pieces into the cake and saw raspberries inside of it. When they ate it, they all thought it was delicious. Mmm, this is good. I want more! One way said in delight. Princess Starcom got to the top of the cake and thought it was tasty. I didn't expect something this good because I'm kind of quiet. Princess Starcom mentioned. Can you show me your Sky Island in development now? Queen Yowie asked. Oh, yes, okay. Princess Starcom said while nodding. Both of them flew to the small sky island near the castle. It looking, it's looking so far, heh, <laughs> Queen Gowie said. Uh, what's wrong? Princess Starcom asked. It's just that your Sky Island home is too close to my castle, Queen Gowie complained. Well, I'm not moving it anywhere, Princess Starcom replied. What did I say about being stubborn? Queen Gowie asked. That I shouldn't be, and also thank you for this party today, Princess Starcom thanked. So yeah. It, that was kind of a long one, but it is a special episode. Uh, so yeah, bye and see you in the next video. Oh, and by the way, the next episode is going to be called The Sleepover, and so yeah.